Go to Google and search for photo rec. Most of the results are sponsored and the correct link is this one, which is CG security. Click on it to open it. Click on download. By the way, photo rec is an open source so that you can trust it more and that it's not a malicious software. You could actually view the source code by clicking on this link. It has got two versions and for various different operating systems for windows, select windows 64 bit this would then automatically start downloading the zip file once the download is completed go to your downloads folder right click on the folder and then select extract all click on extract this should then automatically open the extracted folder then open the test disk folder and scroll down until you get to photo rec application double click on it to run it it's a text-based file recovery software but a very powerful one use the down arrow on your keyboard to select the drive that you want to recover the deleted files from for example my usb sand disk which is physical drive 6 of 250 gbs once you got the correct drive selected press enter next is to select the partition since my hard drive has just one partition i select no partition which means it would scan the whole disk so basically if you have many partitions but you want to recover files just from one partition then you could just select that partition however if you want to recover from your whole drive then select no partition which is a bit misleading name because it actually means all the partitions use forward or back arrow to select options and then press enter by default paranoid is set to yes but brute force is disabled if you press the forward arrow you can change to brute force enabled which would then uses more of your CPU to try to recover more fragmented JPEG files. You could also disable Paranoid altogether. I leave it as default, which is yes, but with brute force disabled. You could also choose whether to keep corrupted files. You could also turn on the expert mode, which would force the file system block size and the offset. You can read more about it on the help document. And finally, you could also enable low memory. If during recovery, your system crashes then you should come back in here and enable low memory and then select quit press enter to go back and now select file options and press enter these are list of files that photo rec would search and not all of them are checked for example this file system mov forward slash m DAT is not checked that means this file type would not be recovered so to check it press forward arrow in this way you could select more files to search and once you're happy press enter and finally select search and then press enter now you will need to select your file system type go to the drive that you want to recover the files right click and then select properties under the general tab you should see your file system type which in my case is f a t32 and then go back to photo rec and then based on yours file system select the right option between these two options and then enter photo rec gives you two options to recover the deleted files the first one would recover any files that are not there in your hard disk it means the unallocated space only so after deleting any files on any drive that space on the drive becomes unallocated located space in other words it would just recover the deleted files however if you want to recover all the files whether they are deleted or not deleted then select the whole option and then press enter now you will need to select the folder where you want to save the recovered files warning you should not select a folder inside the drive that you're trying to recover your deleted files by default photo rec folder is selected to select another drive use the left arrow keep pressing left arrow until you get to the root directory these are all the drives to select a drive press the forward arrow in this way c drive is selected then inside c drive you could use the down or up arrow to select a folder and then use the forward arrow to go inside that folder in this way you could access any folder inside any drive i select root directory of c drive to start the scan press C this would now start scanning your whole drive and start saving your recovered files in the selected folder 
warning. Don't use your drive that you're scanning. Here it shows the number of files that it has recovered and the types of files. Once the recovery is finished, it will show you the total number of files that are recovered. This is the directory of the folder where the recovered files are saved. Go to your recovered directory and here you could see it has automatically created a folder called recop underscore dir dot one. Open it and test your recovered files. As you can see, most of my photos are recovered and my videos are also recovered. However, some of the videos don't play. These videos are taken by Apple and they are in MOV format. They can't be played because of some missing metadata. However, it has still done a good job in recovering most of my files. One drawback with this file recovery software is that it doesn't recover the original file name and changes all the file names to a generic name. Don't forget to watch my other file recovery videos and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.